Notice there is no one-size-fits-all method for how to handle your life. You should always consult with a trained, licensed professional appropriate to the decision you need to make. Medical, legal, financial, nutritional, religious, or other professionals should be consulted before making a life-altering decision. Use information from this course at your own risk. Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey, Mainly Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon, Sr., and today we're going to review the book Overcoming the Hand You Were Dealt by Keisha Taylor. But first, a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all the people watching this uh, video. Thank you for all the many blessings you've given us. Thank you for the roof over our heads, the food on the table. Thank you for my wonderful family. Thank you for all the publisher, publishers, publicists, uh, authors, illustrators, and others that we come in contact with via the blogs, the YouTube channels, and the uh, Udemy channel, and the other places. Thank you for everything that you've given us. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Christ's most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, like I said, um, this book is Overcoming the Hand You Were Dealt by Keisha Taylor. And first of all, let me tell you that the author and I could not be any more different than uh, you could imagine. And here she is, a uh, young black lady from the hood in New York, and me, a uh, old redneck from uh, born in Atlanta, moved now on the Texas Gulf Coast. And so we couldn't really be further apart from one another uh, as far as our upbringing, but we speak the same language. And the language I mean is Christian. Every so often we get a book, well, first of all, we review books all the time, and uh, we're sent books to review, and right now there's over 53,000 in our uh, To Be Read stack. And that's amazing, but what's even more amazing is that from time to time, there's a book that just screams, read me next, read me next, read me next. And uh, it's me and uh, Suzanne, we call her Moogie. And sometimes one of our adult children will read one and uh, review it, but most of the time it's me and, and Moogie. Anyway, um, for whatever reason, this book was reading, read me next, read me next. And I'm so glad that I went ahead and did read it, because this uh, Miss Taylor is a master storyteller. Now, the whole time you're reading this, and remember, she's a, uh, a black lady from the hood, and I'm a, a southern redneck, and I wanted to pinch the heads off of uh, these people that were doing this to her in her life. I wanted to take them out, as we um, rednecks say, to have a word of prayer. These people that are creating so much grief in her life, take them out and have a word of prayer. She tells the story in such a way that, you know, you can't put the book down. And I literally mean this because I sat there and read it from cover to cover uh, without putting it down, except for short bathroom breaks, which is bound to happen when you get as old as I am. But I uh, read it from cover to cover, was completely engrossed by the story. Um, it'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. It'll make you mad. I promise you, if you're not mad by the end of it, there's something wrong with you. Because there's so many people in her life that treated her so badly that she wanted to just pick them up and slap them. Or like I said, take them out and have a word of prayer. Um, she tells the story really well. She draws you in. It's like, not that you're you know, a reader, but that you're part of her family. You can sit there and you're like, she shouldn't have to go through that. And she shouldn't have to put up with that. And believe it or not, I didn't need a hood to redneck dictionary, but there were some terms in there that uh, I did have to ask our uh, youngest daughter about. Uh, here in the, the South, if, or, or out in Texas, if uh, someone's giving you shade, that means they're holding an umbrella over your head while you're barbecuing. I don't know what it means otherwise, but for me, that's what giving me shade means. But obviously it wasn't what she meant when she talked about someone giving her shade. I still don't know what it means, but hey, it didn't change the story any. Uh, we give this book all five stars. We think you'll enjoy it. We think that this is a rare treat for people to have a master storyteller. And I, I find it very hard to believe that this is her first book. Um, but she's a master storyteller and she'll intrigue you. Now, if you read this book and you like it, 
Or if you read this book and you hate it, I can't imagine that you would, but if you read the book and you hate it, drop me an email at regindiesvideos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. Now, if you see this on uh, Amazon and you like it, uh, please give us a helpful vote, and if not, please vote accordingly. If uh, you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to this channel if you would, and we thank you. Thank you. Notice... There is no one-size-fits-all financial, nutritional, lifestyle plan that will be right for everyone or every situation. Always consult qualified professionals before making any life-changing decisions. This information is to be used for education only. Use this information at your own risk. This video made possible by Manian Devil Productions.